Well, today's our final day on the power of God, and our theme today is Jesus gives power and authority to the disciples. Now, in Luke chapter 8, we see several stories of Jesus' power at work, the amazing healing of the Gerasene demoniac and casting out the legion of demons and restoring him to his right mind. We see Jesus healing the woman who had had hemorrhages for 12 years. We see him raising Jairus' daughter from the dead, even though people laughed at him when he said she's not dead but sleeping. And then after we see these three great stories of Jesus' power and authority at work, then in Luke chapter 9, Jesus turns to his disciples to give them that same power and authority. It says, Then Jesus called the twelve together, and gave them power and authority over all demons and to cure diseases. And he sent them out to proclaim the kingdom of God and to heal. He said to them, take nothing for your journey, no staff, no bag, nor bread, nor money, not even an extra tunic. Whatever house you enter, stay there and leave from there, wherever they do not welcome you. As you are leaving that town, shake the dust off your feet as a testimony against them. They departed and went through the villages, bringing the good news and curing diseases everywhere. I have to say, you look at these stories that we've shared in the second half of this week, and it's really remarkable how much healing was a part of Jesus' ministry and the ministry of his first disciples. Um, I don't think I have the spiritual gift of healing, but uh, it really was a part of the early ministry of Jesus and the church. And something interesting about Jesus' approach that he shares with the disciples, and that is that wherever they go, they are to travel light. Uh, Jesus is trying to teach the disciples about relying as much as possible on God. So take nothing. Not a staff, not a bag, not bread, not money. Now, I don't know about you, but I just came back from a, a week away, and I took a bag, I took money, I took extra clothes. Jill and I had food in the car. You might say we traveled very little on faith because we took everything we thought we needed. Well, Jesus says, I want you to go out with nothing, as light and as simple as possible, so that, in part, you have to learn to rely on God and the hospitality of strangers. And he says, wherever you go, where you get welcomed, stay there. Why does he say that? Well, I think Jesus says that because if they go to a town and God starts to do good things and God's power is at work, if you're staying in a very humble house and then someone with much nicer accommodations and food says, hey, you guys are doing a great job, come and stay with us. They're not supposed to focus on their own comfort. Stay where you are, Jesus says. And also he says, hey, if a town doesn't welcome you, just shake the dust off your feet and move on. And it's very important for us to understand. Uh, when it comes to sharing our faith in Christ and God's power, don't waste your time with people who are very, very adamantly opposed. Look for people who are open and receptive. That's one of the lessons we learned from Jesus when he sends out his disciples with power and authority and even as he sends us out in our generation. May God's power bless you this day.